we don't like to talk about death. We don't like to think about death. We push it away and we feel like if we push it away, it's not a reality. Unfortunately, I lost my brother last year. So today we're going to actually stare death in the face. And uh, I'll just tell you my personal story. I've not been good with death. I've denied it, wouldn't talk about it. My parents, who are older, tried to discuss final arrangements and things with me, and I just couldn't do it. I didn't want to talk about it. I lost my best friend when she was 37, and you would have thought that would have been like a turning point for me, and it wasn't. I just kept pushing it down, compartmentalizing, and not dealing with the reality of it until last year. Last year, my brother, my only sibling, died suddenly. Suddenly, we texted the day before, uh, the next morning. My sister-in-law called. He was in the hospital. He'd had a uh, sudden cardiac arrest, and she was with the chaplain. And now he's gone. It uh, it still blows my mind. Like, it, I still... It's hard to come to terms with. But it is what it is. Now, at the beginning of the grieving process, there was a, um, a victimization thing going on. Why me? Why my family? This isn't fair. Life's not fair. But that turned. And there's a gift. It smacked me upside the face. The realization that any of us or any of our loved ones could disappear at any moment. At first was terrifying and anxiety inducing, but it actually has changed the way I see my life, I see my relationships with others, and I sort of see this as my brother's final gift to me. I will never be the same again. There's a hole in my heart. I, I always, it's funny, the, these are his ashes, and I always, when I think of him or talk about him, I always grab this. Um, I won't be the same again. There's a hole in my heart, right? But in some ways, like, you know, the Grinch who stole Christmas, my heart has grown exponentially in the last year. My brother and I had some difficulties before he passed away. Stupid, stupid shit, which in retrospect, I should have tried to understand him better. I should, we could should and could all we want. I can't. That's done. So now I am choosing to look at the gifts and the blessing of our time together, but also the blessing of my life and everyone I love's life and every life. You know, we get so caught up in the minutia and the headlines and the negativity and at the end of the day, we are all just lips on the radar. We're just dust in the wind. It's not all that significant. So our job, I believe, or at least my personal job moving forward, is to appreciate things and live in the moment. And hey, I'm a human being. Do I get caught up in bullshit? And yeah, I do. But I rein myself in much uh, more easily than I used to. So if you are struggling with this, and he here's the interesting thing. People who are not dealing with this will not watch this video. I was one of those people. I didn't even want to think about death. I have a feeling anyone who's watching this video is going through or has gone through a similar thing. I guess what I really want to say is there comes a pivotal point where there's a choice in your life. Um, we can choose to spend the rest of our time, however much we're blessed with, 
uh, being victims and asking why, or we can make the choice to really, really try to focus on the present moment and the gifts that are in front of us. So something to think about. Let me know um, if you've had personal experiences with this and how they've affected you. Um, it's not my normal type of video, but I, I've decided to sort of in real time when real shit happens uh, that I should not put my makeup on, not do crazy editing, but sort of uh, share a stream of consciousness of what's going on in my head. So uh, I hope that was helpful. And again, please let me know below. Uh, if you're into exploring life and personal development and um, just being your best you, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, uh, comment below on other videos you'd like to see and on your own personal experiences. You can pick up the book Mindfulness for People Who Suck at Being Mindful on Amazon. Subscribe to the blog AmaximizedLife.com. On Instagram, it's A.Maximized.Life. On Twitter, at DJ Melissa Max with two X's. And on YouTube, A Maximized Life.